that for later, I guess. Let's head home. Shit, there's too many people to interact with. Oh my god. No. <laughs> Fuck. Get a free piece of pizza. This is one of my things. Oh, there's a little, little telepath. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let me do the side mission first people to interact with. I don't want to do it right now. Oh, God. What a snooty prick. Hi there. Welcome to La Telepathé. In our fine establishment, we monitor your brainwaves and serve you a dish from your deepest desires. I'd like to make an order. Oh, apologies, sir, but we don't serve friendship here. I'm starving. Can I order something for my deepest desires? Oh, I'm very sorry, sir. But we're a restaurant. We can't make you a hero here, sir. Only you can do such a thing. Oh, and by the looks of you, that's quite unlikely. Oh, there's the dick-eating dude, I think. Not serving me is discrimination or racist or something, I bet. Apologies, sir, but we serve based on our customers' deepest desires, and I'm afraid we can't grow you a giant beard. Is there anything your kitchen can serve me? Little, sir, our kitchen is ill-equipped to prepare you a prom date. Damn it! <laughs> Damn it. Excuse me. Tiny monsieur, if you're applying to be... I'm afraid we're not currently hiring children who can't even lift a baguette. I could totally lift a baguette. Would you care to put a wager on that, sir? I, uh, I'm above your silly trials. Besides, I lifted three dinner rolls just the other day. Grandma took my picture. Uh, okay. Most impressive, sir. But don't touch the dishes. Is that bitch eating a baby? Uh... Off I go. Ex excuse me. This dude has a piece of pizza. This. A meal prepared by Chef Aborchon. Aborchon? Oh, that's so fucked. Now would be a good time to take your first steps and get the fuck out of here. Right? Is she actually gonna eat this? If I do, its mother might not take it back. <laughs> Is she actually gonna eat that baby? Are you kidding me? Candy cane pizza? Who would desire such garbage? A pregnant lady? <sighs> Sir, allow me to stop you from asking him to prom before you start. His answer is no. <laughs> hey, I'm Coop and I was- Just leave me alone, kid. He wouldn't fit in my backpack. Like a happy guy. Huh, wonder what that's like. He thinks he looks good, but I think he looks like a self-absorbed douchebag. Oh, that's the self-absorbed guy, but where's that dick eating dude? <laughs> Isn't that him? Hi, I'm no, Coop. I don't think so. Damn! You are one fine looking specimen, if I do say so myself. Looking good! Oh, wow, thanks. He's talking to himself, Coop, not you. Oh, that's Beverly. Sweet. So sexy. Huh. Yeah! So what do you do for a living? Are you a janitor too? No, but I should carry around a mop since the ladies melt under the floor whenever I'm around. <laughs> this guy. Um, okay. So what do you do? What don't I do? Actually, it's more like who do I do? Am I right or am I right? I'm Ugh. How's the food here anyway? All I know is everything is delicious, because I'm what's on the menu tonight, and all the ladies want some of this four-course meal. <laughs> Wait, I don't understand. Are you talking about yourself? I'm just asking how the food tastes. Looking good guy doesn't swing that way, but you can buy him a drink. Of course, you'll have to get in line, baby, because all the ladies are picking up the tab for my drinks. The second most narcissistic person I've ever met. 
The waiter told me the same thing. Guess that's just a fancy French word for attractive. <laughs> You're on fire tonight. Looking good. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you ever crave something more than looks and shallow conversation? Oh my god, yes, I'm so lonely. I'm so goddamn lonely. <laughs> Did you know I dry humped myself the other day? Seriously, I humped a goddamn mirror because I'm so vain and lonely. Yeah, a I mirror! All I want is somebody to hug me and tell me that it's gonna be okay so I can fall asleep at night without crying. <laughs> yeah, that was a video six years ago. I, I remember that. Yeah. Jeez, I, I'm sorry. I, di I didn't know you were hurting that bad inside. I, uh... <clears throat> Not as much as the ladies are hurting inside after a squirting from this guy. Looking good, yeah. <laughs> You're hopeless. Right. Okay, uh, nice not really talking to you. They hate to see me go, but they love to watch me leave. Looking good. Looking good. She does not look happy. Save the touching for the finger food. Hey, aren't you the high school janitor's wife? Ugh. Ex-wife, please, kid. Can't you see I'm on a date? A terrible date. I think you should give. Are you kidding me? When we met, he promised to sweep me off of my feet. At first, I thought I could overlook his love of the custodial arts, but when he would only make love on garbage day in a trash That's... bin with a mop on my head, I could only take so much. He can only focus on one thing at a time, and I told him it was either trash or me. Well, now he's not doing either. Don't you think you could have a clean and exciting life together? Exciting life? Ha! His bucket list was just a list of buckets he wants to own before he dies. That's, uh, still pretty exciting, I think. So, what are you gonna order? At this point, anything. I'm starving. If only my vapid date would make up his mind. You can tell a lot about a person by what they order here. That's a good idea. You can find what their desire is pretty easily that way. Exactly. Honestly, I'd be surprised if his deepest desire isn't just a copy of himself that he can date. Besides, if all of his desires are below the belt, it'll show up as his dinner, and I'll definitely know he's a creep. Will you get a prom with me? Wow, I'm flattered. Moved, actually. Are you but sure? kid, our love could never be. You're so underage and illegal. No, don't look at me like that with bin eyes. I am only so strong. Besides, Egg. what would Libman, your janitor, aka my ex husband, do if he ever saw us together? No, it Is could never be. Actually Maybe in another it? life or semester. A simple no would suffice. That was a little creepy. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to disturb you while you're trying to get laid. Scram, kid. I have real emotional needs. I'm not just looking for a plate of dicks. <laughs> Reference. Reference. Aaron Beverly's date. I'm starting to get a reputation around here for touching grown men. Better hold off. Hey there, I have a quick question. Okay, uh... No they hate to see me go, but... How do I ruin the date? I wish that would work, but alas. <laughs> but alas. Mmm... Like my teacher. Let's address that hygiene issue after class. Employees only. And I definitely don't want a job here. Don't worry, baby. I'll pick up the ticket. Mm, nope. Come on, Coop. Think harder. At least it was fun to try. What does it say? Plate of dicks.
Nothing ruins a date faster than receiving the wrong order, especially when it's an order of penises. Order up! <laughs> mm, and here you are, sir. Your plate of dicks. <laughs> bon appetit! Whoa! Looking good. Mmm. What? That... that gross plate of... of dicks? Delicious. Uh, when I started dating a man who's constantly looking at himself in the mirror, I had no idea he'd be so full of himself. And now this is what you order? I had one thing on their mind. I just assumed it was their own. I hope you and your plate of dicks are happy. God, I made a mistake. Dating sucks! I might as well go back to what's comfortable instead of trying to find what makes me happy. I'm going back to my ex-husband! <laughs> Bet. Did I fix it? A plate of penises? That doesn't strike me as yummy wummy. <laughs> yummy wummy. Dicks. Uh, playing with that food might make me go blind. I want to shake the hand of a chef who bakes a bacon cake. I see. You're not food, bacon cake. You're art. You're art? I dare not disturb such a masterpiece. Are you a leg man or a taco man? Taco man. Why did the chicken cross the border? <laughs> to feed a hungry family. Playing touch and go with a taco. This game is the best. The janitor, I'll do that later. Oh, it's this place. Please don't put your penis in my, uh, Pizza. If I wear this, does it officially mean that I'm from New Jersey? Chest hair. Huh. One slice of free pizza, please. Nice try, kid. But nobody gets a shot at Rod's thickness without tossing his salad in the back first. You have salads here? Mmm, no. What's your stance on pineapple? Rod is always in favor of making it easier to swallow. Okay. Nice! I like pineapple on pizza, too. Pineapple on pizza? Sick! <laughs> What's on the Rod's Thick Sausage Surprise? Sorry, kid. That pie is for customers 18 or older. Preferably the sexy ones. Rod, you're not putting your penis on any of these pizzas, are you? Come on, kid. This is a legitimate Italian eatery. <laughs> okay, but I didn't hear you say no. It depends on what you order. It depends on what you order. <laughs> As luck would have it, I actually have a coupon for a free pizza. A free pizza? You sure that coupon isn't expired? There's no exp- Wish I could say the same about my condoms. <laughs> Your what? <laughs> uh, my condiments. So, can I get that free cheese pizza? All right, why the hell not? Just don't go telling your friends I'm giving away free pizzas. Unless, of course, they're barely legal females. Um, then you can send them my way. Deal. That's not okay. He's trying to fuck uh, underage girls. That's not uh, okay. Uh, deal. Um. Um. No. Please. No. Did you? Right on. Here you go, kid. Enjoy my thick pizza. Wish you wouldn't say it like that, but thanks. <sighs> ah, a lovely cheese pizza. Just for me. I guess today wasn't all bad. Time to head back home and scarf it down. Did you just fucking cream in my pizza? Bruh, I didn't want that type of sauce, bro. I didn't want that type of sauce. Survey <laughs> says... I wanted regular red sauce, bro, not white sauce. Ugh. <laughs> oh, that's not okay. That's just not okay. Alright, how do I 
like go home. Let's go past all these fucking people. Uh, there's so many people to interact with. So many things to interact with. The mutants are alright, I guess. interact with them later too. But can I not go home? Oh, it's that dude. I guess this way. Oh. Gas station. I don't I don't live here. Actually, let's return to the janitor since we're coming by here. Hey, buddy. Where's the, where's the homie? Is he in his? Uh, the janitor at. Gym or boiler? my house. This. Thanks, but I'll stick to the homes I actually belong in. Wait, do I belong in any homes? I'm not so sure these days. He looks pissed off. See how observational I am? What you protesting? It's more like what aren't we protesting? For starters, the pollution in this town has become overwhelming. I wouldn't even describe the air as a gas. It's almost like a solid. Okay. It is kind of weird that you can chew the air here. Exactly. Do you really think this protest is accomplishing anything? How else are we going to call attention to how underfunded the school and entire town are, yet a small percent of the population seems to be doing extremely well? Like who? How about your own Principal McNally, for starters? He seems to be living a nice, cushy lifestyle these days. That's true. His chair probably costs more than my parents' funeral. Explain to me how teachers have to buy their own classroom supplies, yet he gets to enjoy luxuries like fancy chairs. I guess I can't. Neither can we. So that's why we organize and protest. Don't you have jobs to go to? Of course not. That's just what the man wants us to do. The man wants us all to have jobs so he can subjugate. Not on my watch. Take that, the man. So, are you anarchists or something? Nah, we're not that organized. Is there anything I can do to help? It's best you just stay in your room. We all need to leave less of a carbon footprint. Even one kid like you could end up destroying this entire town if he's not too careful. Heh, <laughs> that'd be crazy. Can I join in with your protest? The marching and yelling looks kind of fun. Absolutely not! Why not? We're also protesting other protesters. I'm so confused. Well, I gotta go now. Keep fighting the good fight. 
Grandma always said crosswalks are just a suggestion. Plus, you can get some friendly neighborhood honks by crossing the street wherever you feel like. Where the fuck is my house? Downed wires make kids dyers. Kids are zapped dead all the time in this town. Maybe that awful safety slogan is why. Jesus? Are you under there? <laughs> Jesus? If I want to be electrocuted, I'd shove a butter knife in the toaster again. Mm, nice. I'm confused. Oh, there's the gen. Oh. Is he... Is he mopping the street? I, uh, ruined your wife's fancy date. You... You did? For me? <laughs> oh. <laughs> but why? So you'd clean up the school. That place is so trashed, I got my neck stuck in a plastic soda ring and almost died like one of those sea turtles. <laughs> You're right, kid. I don't deserve people like you in my life. Does this mean we're friends? Now, hold on. <laughs> Let's take it slow. Uh, this divorce is rough, and I'm in no place to make commitments yet, but I uh, appreciate everything you've done. Nice. Uh, just tap him. Thanks for the dirty hug. Made all this effort totally worth it. Great. Now I'm covered in dirt and tears. Nice, but I still prefer my, uh, my stuff. <laughs> the true Italian. How do I get home? It's like I'm staring directly into my future. Wow, this road is really blocked off. I'm sure from behind the fence it looks like I could easily slip through the gaps in the cones, but rest assured those gaps are only an illusion and I'm physically incapable of walking past this roadblock, even if I wanted to. Even if I wanted to. Come on, roadblock. You can at least try to be a little more open to people. Now that I've touched it, I can confirm that this is, indeed, a roadblock. Oh shit, where do I go? <laughs> Ah, oh, shit! Well, 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 look who it is! Put me down! Leave me alone! Uh, at least he brought us some pizza! Come on, guys! That's my lunch! And dinner! Relax, Pipsqueak! We saved you some! story you fuckers are douchebags hey these claims are unsubstantiated <laughs> don't you have anything better to do than push around coop oh bite it sawyer just get out of the way so i can kick the shit out of this shrimp kick the shit out of him huh you mean like the time you kicked the shit out of your pant leg chet uh you did what babe babe no i was sick you're and... fucking gross oh my god it was just a little oh, nugget. Don't oh, touch babe, me. don't be like that. It was a little nugget. Oh, babe, don't be like that. Well, that was gross. Anyway, my lovely Sawyer, now that we're alone. Uh, hey, third party, right in front of you. Shut the fuck up, Smegma Breath. Now that we're alone, I've been meaning to ask do you have a date for prom? I'd like a girl who has dirt on everyone. Fat chance, Kent. I'll be at prom, but strictly as a reporter. I can see the headline already. Kent not awarded prom king, cries for 72 hours straight, and dies a dehydrated husk. That's what you think. The school isn't letting anyone go stag. Damn it! No stag attendees? What is this, some kind of breeding camp? <laughs> nice. 
face it, Sawyer. The only way into the dance is to give in to your desires. Take my hand and say yes. Will you be my prom queen? Actually, I'm going with Coop. Oh, Coop? You fucking serious? Uh, me? Really? <laughs> oh, I get it. You're playing hard to get to entice the big dog. Well, woof woof. It's smart. You gotta play games to win a five-time king like me. Uh... Meow. Looks like this cat has claws. Let the games begin. I'll pick out a nice slow song for us to dance closely to when you go with me to pr Kill him. That. <laughs> Wasn't that your bike? Oh yeah. Shit. How'd you know I didn't have a date? Um, call it a hunch. I didn't even know you liked me. Aw, of course I like you, little buddy. You're my favorite neighbor. Damn. And anyway, did you see how pissed off Kent was? That was awesome. <laughs> yeah. He's gonna murder me. Don't worry about that snooty prick. You gotta stick up for yourself, Coop. They won't pick on you if you fight back. You think? Cause last week I tweeted, Kent can sometimes be impolite, and he responded by swatting my house. Oh, I heard about that. Sorry about your dog. No. I miss Scooter. Poor Scooter. Yeah, well, you're on your own tomorrow, pal. I'm gone all day on a field trip. Stay strong, brother. Fight the power. Later, Coop. Cool, Later, Coop. yeah. Damn the man, and so on. I am so screwed. Empty pizza box. I did not know this was my house. I thought those, it was those, uh... Ah, Coop! You're home! Hey, Graham. You sure are full of life today. I got some groceries, finished my Kegel exercises, and guess what? Your grandma has a date this week. Madame. <sighs> That's great, Grandma. My, my, my. You sure are devoid of life today. Tough day at school again? <sighs> yeah. Was it those bullies? Your old grandma can roll up her sleeves and knock some heads together! Hell Please yeah, don't. Do Last time you helped, you only made it worse. Now they just say, Better call your grandma to come save you, pussy, while they punch me even harder. <laughs> what? Are you ashamed of your old grandma? Yes. No, Graham, it's just... <sighs> Have you ever heard the phrase, adding insult to injury? Oh, sure, I've heard lots of phrases. Like, no matter how flat you make a pancake, it always has two sides. Yeah, but... Oh, oh, or you can't turn a hoe into a housewife. <laughs> Your grandma is full of them. Oh, shit. <sighs> Boy, I'll say. Oh, I'm sorry you had a bad day. You know, you'll always be my little Cooper hero. Thanks, Graham. Cheer up, Coop. I know you like helping people, so why don't you help me out? When you're ready, I have a couple of things that Sure, Grandma. I'll talk to you soon. Free time at last. Now I can look, touch, and talk to all my cool stuff. Well, until I'm ready to go help out Grandma with whatever she needs, that is. <laughs> All right, that's gonna be the end of this episode. It's getting a little long. I'm gonna be splitting this into two parts, um, part seven and part eight. Now, part nine and part 10 are finally where we begin. So look forward to those two episodes. They're gonna be probably 20 minutes or 30 minutes each. And just like this episode. And you know, heck yeah. Finally, we're at our house. We're finally beginning and starting our adventure. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. As always, leave a like, comment any suggestions if you have any, sub if you like, and as always, stay awesome. Peace!